Season 2, Episode 10, Cry for Help. Uh-oh. This seems like it's going to be a dark episode. Oh, sick. I forgot. D wait, when did he get a GameCube? Am I dumb? Didn't he have an N64? Maybe he has both. I don't know. This is just my first time noticing he has a GameCube right here. Oh! Hey, Peridot. Oh, so the entire world knows... The moon? Oh. I mean, the moon is Earth's natural satellite, so I guess it's not that far of a stretch. Ryan, are you okay? It's as I feared. Whoa. Looks like Paradox somehow repaired the communication hub. Well, at least some of it. For the time being, Sugalite is benched. Hmm, shame. Uh-huh. Don't cry, Pearl. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. I'm right behind you. Woohoo! Fusion, 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 fusion! You ready? Uh, hang on. It's been such a long time. Oh, she's very excited about this. I kind of feel bad for Amethyst, though. She just kind of... She's benched, essentially. Which, yeah, I mean, I get it. If you don't want to take a more destructive approach if you want to be more delicate i i understand pearl's definitely with the way to go if you want to be more delicate red you yeah that's clean so who's this gonna be that's kind of i it's cursed i don't know sardonics i mean okay sure let's let's try it Another giant woman. If it isn't Steven Universe, we finally meet. You see, I haven't exactly been myself lately. Oh, oh ha, ha, ha. I get it. And jokes aren't the only thing I've got. The mixed powers. A hammer? Wait, that's kind of clean. Okay, that's kind of that's really backhanded. You didn't you didn't have to say that. That's kind of messed up. I mean, like, I mean, sure, it's kind of true for Amethyst's sake, but I mean, like, dog, you don't gotta say it like that. It's just kind of mean. The proper words used to describe yours truly are specific. You need ironic, ironically, even though she has a hammer. She needs to be the scalpel, not the hammer. Smash? Yeah, no, um, Pearl's definitely the more elegant one, and then Garnet's the power. Now, just remember, everybody, if you ever have need of the lovely Sardonyx, let Pearl and Garnet know I'll be there in a flash. Literally. Dang. That was pretty cool. I kind of liked her. I really liked her energy a lot. But here's Amethyst feeling left out. They're just going to do it again? What's even the point in bringing the other two? So my question is, is Amethyst just like feeling left out here? 
Or does she have something specifically against this fusion? That's what I'm wondering. Um, I don't know. But, like, what's he, what is even the point of bringing Amethyst and Steven here? Like, if they have no purpose? Let the show begin! Now she's talking about Pearl? Or Garnet? So it was Carnage she was talking about. That's what I kind of figured. Because her and Pearl don't have the best relationship. Man, this show is just full of heartbreak, isn't it? Like, it really is. So much of it. That's, that's wild. It's like a theme at this point. That's a cactus, no a very That's weird a cactus. cactus, yeah. It's Paradox escape pod. She fixed it somehow? I was going to say, what? We had it. Did she steal it from the temple? Yeah, because that was, like, she, she bubbled up. Guys, and she's fixing the hub. What's she doing up there? And hats. That's Pearl! For some reason, Wait. Paradox... I can tell by the hair it's Pearl. Pearl is repairing it, so that way her and Garnet have an excuse to fuse to go destroy it again. Oh boy. Not only is that a waste of time, but that's going to piss off Amethyst so much. Holy, oh, this is going to be bad. You know exactly why she's doing it, so she has an excuse to go back. So her and Garnet confuse again to go destroy it. No, she's being selfish. Oh boy. Darn it. It's the hub again. She's evading my future vision. No matter how many times I try, I can't see us finding Paradox. Come on, team. That's not even a reality. I mean, it was the first time. That was definitely what happened the first time. Because Paradox always showed up on the screen. But then after how much Pearl enjoyed that experience, she just keeps doing it for her own selfish reasons. Mm-hmm. Wait, let me explain. You have been fixing the hub. Uh -huh. It's been on Paradox. Is it the first time? The first time. No, 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 no. No, we just needed a reason to fuse. I just wanted to share a few more victories with you. Those weren't victories. Wait, Garnet. You know, we're so much weaker than you. Fusing with you is like our one chance to feel stronger. Don't defend her. Paradox is out there somewhere and Pearl's been distracting us with nothing. Crazy. Just destroy it completely. Please forgive me. That like broke her. Look at her. Dude, this is like weird. I feel uncomfortable. I feel there's going to be, yep, there's tension now. Man, it sure would be nice if things worked out the way the team cartoons. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> the irony. Would. 
Mm, good song. The, yeah, this... I, man. I guess I kind of called it a little bit with Cry for Help. I'm like, this is going to be a darker episode. It, not really, but I mean... I have I don't think I've ever seen Gar or uh Garnet get so mad before. That was weird. And then she fused with Amethyst and that like broke Pearl cuz that's exactly what Pearl doesn't want. Wow, what an episode. This was really good. And I like that we tied in Peridot in it a little bit even though she was barely involved just to keep her relevant as well but man yeah pearl is just so selfish in this there's been a lot of episodes lately that are just kind of look bad on pearl <laughs> i still think pearl's a great character I, I still like pearl's a character she's a very troubled character but i still like her character but we've definitely had quite a few episodes recently that just show how not great she can be <laughs> This being one of them, her selfishly wanting to fuse with Garnet, which wastes her time from looking for Peridot. And just Amethyst, like, being down in the dumps the whole time as well. I, like, I don't know. There's a lot of emotion behind this episode. I really like it. A lot of it was subliminal. You kind of had to look for it or think about it. But, yeah, this was... This was good. And now there's tension between, well, everyone really, but mainly between Garnet and Pearl. So that seems like something we're going to have to get over at some point. But yeah. Also, I like the way the episode ended because usually it ends with the iris shot of the star. But like when Steven turned off the screen, it did the like the, you know, the analog turn off, you know, thing where like it closes down and goes away. But it like did it in a star formation. I thought that was really neat. Um, great episode overall. This was very well done. And we got, oh yeah, of course. I Sorry, I'm so caught up in the second half of the episode. I forgot we had a new fusion. We had a new fusion this episode. Um, She was cool. I actually liked her. Like at first I was like, yeah, but you know, I really like her personality. She's a lot of fun. So yeah, she's, she's great. But yeah, this show's just full of so much heartbreak and so much just, jealousy and envy and this feels so real it's so weird like this show this cartoon adopts very real themes all the time and i really appreciate it i actually find it interesting because obviously a lot of cartoons are just entertainment in general it's supposed to be an escape from reality but i think this show while being an escape from reality also is a good way at reflecting reality because it talks about a lot of like the problems people go through all the time and for a kid's show th that's crazy i i really like this great episode anyways i'll see you in the next one